That was a vlog. Hi vlog. Send everybody. Is the space what you thought it was gonna be? Cause you knew the brand before. What did you think it was gonna look like? I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was gonna look like this. So this is, the building on the outside is definitely unassuming at all. And then the thing is gonna look like this when you get inside, but. I kinda like that though. Same here. People come in here, they're like, they come up the stairs and they'll be like, whoa, I didn't expect this to be in here. Right. I think that's what's cool about downtown. Yeah. You have just such a, kinda have the lowest of low, but then, yeah, there's a lot of cool things like this. A lot of, a lot of cool fashion happens around here. Uh, I've been waiting to get accepted for Soho for so long. Well, you got two bags. Yeah. We do bags. As we did in Italy. Um, oh, wow. But we're going to move the production to Portugal. Oh, wow. Just a lot cheaper. Oh, cool. As I was saying, uh, like footwear we do in Italy, but now we're doing it in Portugal. Yeah. So what I was charging 495 retail here for. I can charge two ninety five retail now. Oh wow, that's so much better. That's a, that's so sweet. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, then this is the office uh, showroom, like, yeah. and in my office we do the podcast. Uh, like I, I, making clothes is a lot of money. Like you have to pay a lot of money for production. And being able to pay someone that I know, like it's because the the guy who owns the warehouse and the whole production facility that I partnered up with is like a family friend of mine. Yeah. So being able to give like a family friend like a very stable, stable like monthly source of income is pretty cool feeling versus like just giving it to a random company out here in LA. Yeah. And like these checks are huge, <laughs> so like it's 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 cool. That's great. Yeah. I'm. I was thinking about that the other day too when I was doing my Thanksgiving kind of um, post, you know, yeah. it was more like, you know, I was thinking about the things that I was thankful for. And basically, um, I like the idea that in business, you know, you can help people grow and everyone can, ha everyone can kind of win. You know? Just older people who are not like hip to it. I was talking to Eric earlier today about like how like some photographers like that are um, really pop, like that were really successful back in the day, had their own style. And, but now like with like the Instagram being very popular, like those like old traditional styles of photos are becoming very outdated, like yeah. very quickly. And now all the young kids are coming in and just swooping up, like because the styles are way more like trendy now and kicking out all the older guys. And the yeah. older guys are like, are, they're so like stuck in the ways of like taking photos. Like this is a good example. Like, like when you're in high school, you have to do like senior portraits or like it's like a good thing you do. Yeah. And a lot of these senior portraits, when you go to like a studio, it looks so bad yeah. because like they have like the perfect backdrop. They have like the perfect three point lighting on you and it, it just look flat. But a kid like anyone now with the camera can go outside and just take something better mm -hmm. and doesn't charge like $500. And I, I don't understand how those companies who still like have the traditional photo shoots are even still in business because that stuff is so outdated looking to me. Yeah. And some kid like who Like Step Brothers? Exactly. Like a, like a kid who just comes and buys a DSLR can make can take a photo better for free. I guess the necessity to actually make it happen. Right. Um, you know, cuz one thing when I moved out here is I didn't have much money and right. um paying rent that was scary to me every month, but I somehow made it happen and then somehow made it out of that. But that was definitely outside of our comfort zone, right? Yeah, so you like, started doing odd jobs and everything. You like, If you don't make the rent happen... I was you, doing you, odd jobs. Yeah, I was cleaning a garage in my, like my friend's garage. I'd be like, I'd mow the lawns. I'd be like, it sounds like... And I rode a bike around like because it was, you know, that was right. just like... It's kind of starting all the way at the bottom is where, where I kind of started in Los yeah. Angeles, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
thank you, Dan, to show you um, the production. That, uh, how does mediums fit for t-shirts? I wear an extra large and yeah, um, I like it. What size t-shirt do you wear? Um, I usually wear either a medium or a large. An extra large. Like, yeah, but you could, I would even go like, I go large a lot too. It just depends on what you want your fit. I know you like, you like bigger size? fit. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes I do a double X. My friend, thank you. You saved me a check, so I don't have to buy it at the store. They got it. Let's bag it up for you then. Thank you. Picking up the clothes himself. This is real special. It's very special. Thank you. I do have to make sure I get these sizes down there before I wrap it. Hi, how was that? Extra small pants, large hoodie, large t shirt. I got that. Corey? Yeah, I'm on it. One of the. Oh, that was similar. Okay, what are we doing? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. No 